Man, I'm learning a lot with this and I'm having some serious fun. I've got a fun one for you guys today and it's all about willow cuttings but before we get started we've got to head back in time back to where we originally did those willow cuttings in soil versus water so let's take a little trip back in time in the Kincaid time machine let's go so we're back out here with our little experiment here we've got our in soil rooted cuttings of willow. We've got our in water rooted cuttings of willow. We're gonna continue to follow these guys right here and see how they do and what happens with them. But you'll notice I've got a separate jar right here and that's because I couldn't help myself. I'm, I'm loving these willow. I mean like 10 days to root man and I need to do something more with it. So I went out today and I gathered some more cuttings only this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've got some fat cuttings this time. Now, in that last video, I told you guys to get this kind of material that was just last year's growth that's real supple and, you know, kind of small and thin and got lots of buds all over it. It was just the newest growth that you could get. Since I posted that video, I got a lot of people telling me that they use big old fat cuttings and they root just as well. So, I had to get my hands in that game, went out and got the fattest cuttings I could find. Now. The tree that I got this from was really high up and I was I was looking for something three inches thick, maybe four inches thick, but it just wasn't possible on this tree. This was the fattest cutting I could get and I'll show it to you here. It's probably three quarters of an inch to close to an inch in diameter, something like that. It's a good big thick cutting and I'm really excited to see what it's going to do. And then I'm just going to round it out here with some smaller cuttings. Now. These guys were just further down the branch. This was the fattest one I could get. These guys are just a hair smaller, maybe five eighths of an inch thick, something like that. I'm gonna cut this up into two pieces, this one up maybe into three pieces, and we're gonna soak them in some water. And then just for good measure, I got my hands on some red twig dogwood. And you guys saw that video I did last year about the red twig dogwood. Put a link down below if you haven't seen that. But I rooted these guys as hardwood cuttings and I thought I'm going to throw a really nice thick fat cutting of that in there. This is about a half inch thick. We're just going to drop in with the willow and see what it does. So we've got all these willow cuttings all cut up in our one red twig dogwood here. And the big question is, since we don't have these little thin cuttings anymore where you can see the buds all up along there and you can tell which ends up, how do we know which ends up here? Well, just like any tree, the branches are going to grow up and you can see right there that little branch is pointing upward and you can find that all along these little branches here. I've got all these lined up in the direction that they should be. I'm going to go ahead and just drop them right into this jar of water. And just let them sit. All right, got a little bit of water going on there, don't I? <laughs> and then we're going to take this red twig dogwood. Same idea. You want the buds pointing upward, like this little guy right here. See if you can see that. And then we're just going to drop it right in the water. Now I know what question you've got on your mind. Why is he putting them in water? We just discovered that putting them into the soil or the soilless medium works the best in the long run. Well. I know you have that question because I have all the same questions. I really liked how this worked out. I like putting it in the water and watching those little root initials form and seeing how it all kind of takes place and then being able to see when those little tiny root initials are just wanting to start popping out with some roots and putting them in soil. I just think it's fun. The other thing is these guys are going to be indoors where it's warm. They're going to soak up a lot of moisture and I want every chance possible that they can get to put on tons of massive roots. We're gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna give them some time inside now. I'll probably put them directly underneath those grow lights that I've got the other willow under now, just to keep them nice and warm. And we'll see, maybe we can get these guys to root even faster than those other cuttings. So here go all of our cuttings right underneath that nice, warm, bright light. This water's gonna warm up nicely and hopefully all these guys are gonna root like crazy. I think they're gonna, this willow is so easy to root. The one that I'm curious about the most, well, this big fat one for sure, but also 
this old red twig dogwood. We'll see what it does. So today is February 6th. We'll come back when something's happened. Here we go. All right, so here we are just four days after we started these little guys and they're already starting to do something. I'm pretty impressed. Let's take a look. These little willow cuttings are already starting to form root initials. Look at all those little white bumps all over the place and they are getting ready to root. And I'm just more and more amazed at how quickly these guys are doing this. Let's take a look at this, even this big fat cutting. I was really excited to see if we could get this to root. And you know what? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a problem at all, but look at that. Look at all those little root initials. Roots are gonna start busting out at all of those sites before long, but look what else I noticed. You see that little tiny bud right there? Isn't that crazy? That little bud right there is just already trying to open up and start growing. Within a few days, these guys are going to be nice little willow plants. The only one I haven't seen much of yet is right here, and that's the red twig dogwood. It looked at first like those little root initials were going to start turning white and swelling, but I don't see too much change going on with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there. I'm not going to do anything different with it. We'll see what happens. It might just take longer or it might not do anything at all, but we'll find out. All right, so there it is. We got them potted up and there's our empty jar. These guys are all crammed together. Yeah, I've got them all stuffed down into one little cup here, but it's for educational purposes. And I want you guys to be able to see the roots when they happen because we like to see the roots. But normally I would put one of these into an individual cup and then just let them grow individually to make it a lot easier. But as you saw in that last Willow video, we'll do the same thing with these guys the following winter when the roots have hardened off and they're good to go. We'll be able to just rip them apart and pot them into individual pots. That'll be next winter. But today is February 10th, so I'm gonna throw these back inside under the lights in the warm area and we'll see how long it takes. I think it's gonna take another seven to 10 days and these guys are gonna be growing like crazy. I'd bet a dollar to a donut. We'll find out. It hasn't even been 10 days. Today is February 16th. It's only been six days since that last clip and we've got growing willows. Why am I so excited about that? There are not a lot of hardwood cuttings that you can get to root in that amount of time. So let's take a look at these little willows. Check that out, man. They are putting on some nice green growth there. These are just little miniature trees already. Isn't that amazing? Look at that little bud. In the beginning when we stuck these, we didn't have the buds like we did. Here's one right here. We didn't have these little buds all along the stem. They were buried deep in the wood there. And look, they have just popped out and matured and grown and they look absolutely beautiful. They're even coming up way down here, way at the base. Isn't that cool? They look healthy, they're thriving. Let's look at the roots. Look at all these roots. They've got roots all the way out to the edge and it's only been six days. I saw roots out to the edge a day or two ago. Look at that, guys. Look at that, fantastic. And they're growing beautifully. Now, we're working on that video about, or actually, I think you guys have already seen that video about the water versus soil cuttings, the finish of it, where we saw the cuttings get transferred from water into kind of a water soil mixture. This is the way to go, man. This is absolutely the way to go. These things are so beautiful. Let me get that in better light here. See if that works, is that better? I don't know. It's tough in here, anyway. Look at that green. Now I got crows squawking at me. Look at that beautiful green growth, man. Look at those roots. I love these things. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I think it's fair to say that just about any method you use for these willow cuttings, they're gonna root. I mean, this is amazing. These are hardwood cuttings. We are deep into winter and I've taken several different types of cuttings from small cuttings that are real thin to these big fat cuttings almost an inch in diameter and they're rooting and they're growing and they're growing beautifully. I'll bet if I could get a hold of a like a three inch chunk of this stuff or even maybe a five inch chunk of this stuff and put it in a pot, I'll bet the sucker would root. The only one that hasn't rooted in this container is this little red twig dogwood. And so I'm still waiting on seeing how that thing turns out. At this point, I haven't seen real any indication that anything's happening, but there's the red twig dogwood. And you can see that red on the backside of it here. But I've been looking around this little guy and I don't see any buds starting to open up yet. In fact, if you look right here, 
you can see that looks like a bud site right there. We got another site right here that looks like a bud site. We've got a few of them all around here and I don't see any activity at all with it. So will it root? I don't know. It might root like this. I mean, it'll definitely root. We did some last year, but it would probably root a little faster if I put it on bottom heat, but I still think we've got a good chance of seeing this happen. The willow are exceptional. I think the red dog, red twig dogwood here is going to root in this pot. We're going to give it some more time. I'll come back and uh, I'll show you the results. We'll see what happens. For long, these willow are going to be just growing like crazy out of this pot. And I think we're going to see something happen with this. Let's call it for now, though. Let's just say this one's done. We'll come back to it and we'll do an update in a while. I want to give these guys some time and just let them fully root out. Just get this thing going like crazy and have lots of new growth. See what happens to this red twig dogwood. See if it really starts growing and do something amazing. And we'll come back to it. I promise. We'll see what happens with all these big fat cuttings. So in the meantime, guys, you know what to do. If you like it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see where this guy or these guys and maybe gals end up. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. Adios. All right, once again, I thought the video was over, but it's only been 10 more days since that last shot you guys saw. And we've already got so much more massive growth that I had to come out and show it to you guys because it's pretty exciting. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? Look at how much growth these little willows have put on in just 10 days. I'm completely amazed. Let's take a look at these roots here. Now, I'm not going to rip them out like I always do because we can see them right through the clear container and we can see that these things are growing nice. So just like I showed you 10 days ago, I mean, look at that. Look at all of that. We've even got growth. Now that's a weed, but that is a willow coming up from a node down below. Isn't that nuts? We even got these things as these fat cuttings. I mean, they were like three quarters of an inch to an inch in diameter. Look at the size of those cuttings and they're rooted well. So that answers my question. I mean, these things are gonna grow on and do great for us. The one question is after 10 more days, did anything happen with this little red twig dogwood here? And the answer is no. There he is, still doing nothing, but that's okay. Maybe some of those roots down in there belong to him. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to keep going on this. We'll just keep it under the lights, keep watching it and seeing what happens. I'll show you when there's an update on it. Man, I'm learning a lot with this and I'm having some serious fun. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. Adios. You guys still here? Did you hang around for that little surprise? Well, I'm going to show it to you right now. So today's actually March 9th and although I was going to get this video up, a little sooner a lot of times gone by and we've got more updates to give and like I said a little neat thing that I'm excited to show you now if you watch this whole video you're gonna understand exactly why this is so cool first of all check this out look at those willow they're absolutely growing out of control and I'm gonna tell you something about these in just a second here because uh, it's really important to get across to you guys but uh, Let's just take a second. Let's look at this. Let's get this all the way back in a full shot. Here's me and here's the willow. Look at how big they're growing. Look at how long these branches are. I mean, this thing really needs to get in a bigger pot. This thing, this multiple things, look at all those willow cuttings. They need to get in a bigger pot and they need to get outside somewhere in the sun where they can just grow to their full potential. You might be asking, why do I have the double cup? It's not for anything other than the fact that I had a lot of water in this cup and it was dripping and I didn't want to drip it all over my wife's carpet. So that's the only reason it's there, but normally I don't have it in this double cup. But look at all of those roots that are just pouring out. This thing is growing like crazy, man. Look at all that. It's just amazing what this thing is doing or these things, they're just growing fabulous, tons of new growth. Now, what I wanted to talk to you guys about was this. You can see this guy drooping over, right? It's growing so big. And part of that is not because it's growing so big. It's because these things are sucking the water up like crazy. Like I'm completely blown away with how much water these little cuttings are going through. I am watering daily and if I miss a day, these things are drooping over big time and the, the leaves here just start really hanging down. These willow, 
they want water. They are water hogs. And so what I think I'm going to do is put some kind of a little self-watering pot underneath it and just keep it full all the time. I really, like I said, I need to get these outside and I need to get them potted up into like a five gallon pot and then have some kind of a self water because all summer they're going to be soaking up the water in that pot. These things are probably going to hit six foot tall before we're done here with the summer. I can only imagine. I mean, this is what they're doing inside my house underneath the little table with fluorescent lights. Now, here's for the little surprise, guys. Are you ready? You know what it's going to be. Check this out. There is that little red twig dogwood. You remember that? Well, it's red on that side of the branch because that's where the sun was. But look at this. Let's follow it all the way down. Nothing's been growing. Nothing's been growing up here. And then I looked at it this morning. And look what's popping up. Do you see that? Look at that. That is not willow. It's coming down from below the soil. Let me get that tilted towards you. That is a little red wood dog or red twig dogwood. Look at that. Little red twig dogwood. It grew. I don't know which roots it has. I've looked it over, it's hard to tell which one of those roots is from the red twig dogwood, but look at that, nice little red twig dogwood growth. It's growing, it worked. So what does that prove? You can do the same thing with red twig dogwoods. I've got some ideas, guys. I've got more plants I wanna play around with, but uh, soaking these things in water for a week or so, and then throwing them in some bark and putting them under fluorescent lights underneath my little table in the house, is rooting these things like crazy. So far, the willow and the red twig dogwood, which took a little bit longer, but it's rooting, it's growing, and we got some beautiful little growth there, and it worked out fabulous, and it was all done indoors, where I can enjoy it through the winter. I could have a wintertime project. Isn't that so cool? What could we do this with? Figs? I don't know, blueberries? Could we do it with blueberries? Could we do this with, uh, with uh, elderberry? People are asking about elderberry. I got so many projects I want to try with this thing. I'll get back to you guys on that one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I had a lot of fun playing around with this and I learned a ton and I hope you guys learned a ton from it too. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see how big these things get by the end of summer. In the meantime, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. And I really mean we're gonna go this time. So thanks for hanging in there. I'll see you later. Adios.